In this question, we have a graph here, and they tell us that the variation with distance of the displacement y of a transverse wave is shown at time t0. So this graph is displacement against, what's x? Distance. Ah. Mm. Whenever there's two graphs, you got to know which is which. So distance is x, displacement is y. Be careful. All right, so the wave has a frequency of 0 0.5 hertz. That's going to be our f. And the point on the rope is marked. The diagram shows the original position of P and four new positions. What is the position of this point at time T equals to one? Okay, so you see this point down here? That's where we are at, I guess time equals zero, right? Up there it says time zero, you are right here. So I'm gonna tell you which ones you can cancel out straight away. So you see how the wave tr is gonna be traveling to the right it means this whole shape is moving to the right. So if you can't visualize that, take a look at this. This is the, uh, the position of the wave. Yeah, you have a particle here. Wait, where's the position of the particle again? Highest point. Okay, sorry. Let's move it up. Highest point. We are right here. All right. Then this whole pink color shape is going to be moving to the right. So let me manually move it to the right. And the particle is going to be riding the wave downwards a bit. So you see how it has moved down, it's following the wave. It's going to continue to ride the wave downwards. So watch it go down, 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 and up again. In fact, you can just keep, uh, oh, wrong direction. You can just keep letting it go to the right like this. Notice how this particle will only move up and down. That's it. It is not going to the left, it's not going to the right. It's just up and down at that same spot. So if we go back to the question now, okay, you can think of two points we can cancel out. If this particle is already at this position, it can only be at either A or B, just up and down that line that I just draw. So C and D is out of the picture. No, the particle does not move to the right. Not. It's only going to be A or B. Okay, so how do we know? It's going to be moving up and down. Um, the other clue we need to know is the frequency. So, they told us at one second later, where will the particle be? Let's try and see how many uh, periods is that. So, I'm going to try to find the period first. So, frequency is 1 over t. Or, in this case, we know that frequency is 0 0.5. 1 over t will give us the period. Okay. So, that means 2 seconds. Now, what these two seconds mean is, you got to be very careful, it takes two seconds for a particle to go down and up at the same spot. Remember, a particle is going to go up and down. That's all. It takes two seconds to do this. In other words, it takes one second to go down and another one second to go back up. This is half a cycle. So let's go back to the question that we want over there. In one second... Oh, this is actually half a cycle or half a period. So it means your particle is going to be going from the highest position all the way down to the lowest position. And that's it. So lowest position is all the way down. We are going to be at B. Okay, so remember, you look on the top right, takes one second to go down and another one second to go back up because that's half a cycle. Okay, so that's how we can think of the motion of particles in questions like this.